Well, as I mentioned, uh, in elderly AML, uh, the combination of venetoclax, either with low-dose RSC or with hypermethylating agents, I can even use the word revolutionary because uh, for a long time people used uh, cytotoxic chemotherapy in older, many of them unfit patients and they were not able to tolerate this. And then the potential use of hypomethylating agents was brought in over the last 10 years. And they're less toxic, but they're modest in terms of their activity. But now with the combination with venetoclax, they actually are producing response rates as high as you would expect with chemotherapy without any of the toxicity. And this clearly will lead to improved survival. And this is an area that we haven't really had any progress for the last 50 years, uh, you know, ever since we've been treating AML, uh, treating patients over the age of 65 has always been a major problem because that is not a population that can tolerate chemotherapy as much as younger patients. So I think these, these combinations will be revolutionary and they probably won't cure all of these patients. Um, some of the survival curves in the studies that I mentioned are actually showing a plateau, so it is possible that they could be curative, but they certainly will change the, uh, the whole uh, field of elderly AML frontline therapy.